Hi, thanks for joining us today. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to drive measurable results for advertisers uh, through promotions. And the real key today, what we're going to talk about, is measurable. My name is Matt Cohen. I'm the president and co-founder of Second Street. I'm pleased to be joined by my colleague, Julie Foley, who's our director of affiliate success and really one of the leading experts on promotions in the industry. At Second Street, we focus on working with our partners uh, through a variety of different kinds of promotions, including contests, ballots, quizzes, email marketing, et cetera. And we've seen really powerful results for our, for our uh, partners, and we're looking forward to sharing some of those with you today. There'll be a lot of good takeaways today, including some case studies. Uh, we have an accompanying pl uh, playbook, uh, an ebook for you to download that goes along with this webinar. Um, and some additional examples. They can all be found in our promotions lab, which is at secondstreetlab.com slash solutions, which you'll see that uh, URL at the bottom of, uh, the bottom of this page. And we look forward to you going there and accessing those resources. All of this uh, that we're going to talk about today is really predicated on a significant trend that we're seeing play out in terms of marketing spend uh, by businesses. Um, we call it the big shift. And that's a big shift towards really promotions. Um, why are promotions growing so quickly? Well, one of the reasons is because advertisers um, have viewed digital, um, uh, mobile, desktop, anything that's online as really the ultimate promotions medium. For years, they've run promotions in print, in television, in radio, uh, in magazines, uh, which have all worked well. But the problem with all those mediums is they are lean back mediums. I love leaning back and reading my paper, or leaning back and watching television, or listening to radio passively in my car. But the great thing about digital is you can lean forward. You can enter a contest. You can vote in a contest. You can purchase a deal. You can download a coupon. You can share all of them on social. So digital has really become the ultimate promotions medium. As a result, we're seeing an explosion in online promotions. Just about $12 billion in 2008, set to be about $40 billion this year, and $80 billion in 2018. So a huge opportunity for you to get involved in. And this growth is happening not just because of the digital medium, but because promotions plus digital leads to measurable results. And it's those kinds of measurable results that advertisers are really looking for. Uh, Gordon Burrell, uh, my good friend, and ran a keynote at our promotion summit back in June, uh, said that advertisers want results you can measure, and they want those results to be measurable. And I think that's so true. And that's really what we're hearing from our partners and their advertisers as a whole. Advertisers want to activate their, their consumers. Uh, they want a way to get them involved. They want a way to learn who they are. They want a way to learn to talk to them further. So what really are advertisers looking for? I think these five things will be familiar to anybody who's done a needs analysis, anybody who's checked in with their advertisers. At the end of the day, no matter what they say, what they're looking for, we believe, are very often these five things. They're looking to generate hot leads, generate people who are interested and in, in the market for their product right now and would like to talk to them. Who wouldn't want that? They're interested in driving foot traffic. They're interested in, if it's, a, uh, if it's a local store or a business, getting people in the door so that they can engage them in spending money. Or if it's an online business, they're looking to get people to their site. But ultimately, they're looking for a way to drive foot traffic. They're looking for social engagement, and in particular, ways to grow their social database. They're looking to grow their number of Twitter followers. They're looking to grow the number of Facebook likes. Um, this is a great platform for them to market further on. They're interested in growing their email database, which we feel is the ultimate database for them to continue to market their services to their customers. Incredibly valuable to your advertisers. And they're looking to collect data. They don't just want email addresses, but they want information about these potential customers so they can target the marketing they have going to them as a whole. So what now? Uh, Julie, I'm going to let you kind of talk, take it from here and talk about where we, where do we go now that we know this. Thanks, Matt. So the first thing that you need to do is a needs analysis conversation with your advertisers. 
it's actually something that's skipped the most often, but it's one of the most important parts of the sales process because relationship selling just doesn't cut it anymore for our advertisers. They see so many reps. They have so little time. You have to be the one that brings solutions to them. So how do you do that? Well, the goal of a needs analysis conversation is not to go in and just sell a spot or sell an ad. The goal is to understand your advertiser's challenges and goals and to determine how you can move the needle for them in your market by asking the right questions and understanding what they need. So the most important questions you can ask are what are your goals and how will you measure that success. Always start here when talking to your advertiser during this stage. They're going to give you that essential information you need to make a good recommendation, which is our second step, picking the right promotion. There's nothing more valuable to an advertiser than a promotion, but it's important that you pitch the right one to the right advertisers. There's a lot out there that you can do, whether that's a contest or a ballot or an e-commerce offer, a quiz. Um, and maybe multiple promotions would work for an advertiser. So there's an ongoing campaign that you pitch to them. But you're going to want to understand what their needs are in order to pick the right one. And then the final thing is the follow-up meeting. Uh, in this stage is another one that many sellers will overlook. So to separate yourself from the pack and to show your advertiser that you're a true asset, um, it's critical for you to go in and have that follow-up meeting so that you can first share those measurable results. You've delivered them. Now you need to actually talk about what you delivered. Um, think about how powerful it will be for you as a seller, as a media company, to be in complete control of the questions that advertiser lo advertisers love to ask, like, was it successful and did it deliver the results that I wanted? And you can say, yes, it did. And then you can also continue that discussion with them of what they need. Once you've delivered the results, and you've proved that you can do it, you can ask what's next, what's on the horizon next quarter, and how can we drive results for you then? And remember, while you're doing this, promotions deliver results. And today we're gonna walk through some case studies that effectively solved advertiser challenges with promotions. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna let Matt get started with our first case study. Terrific, thanks, Julie. Our, our first case study, is um, one that was looking to grow um, social engagement and grow their email database. So they were looking to grow uh, the engagement that they were seeing on Facebook. Uh, they wanted to be able to, to measure that. And they were looking to grow their email database. And so this promotion was run in uh, Winston-Salem by the Winston-Salem Journal on behalf of Mario's Big Pizza uh, down in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And it was a terrific contest that they ran uh, off of their own, uh, off the, the uh, Big Pizza's, uh, off of Mario's Facebook page. Um, it was a great prize, very appropriate for the audience they're trying to, to reach. You could have $50 to use at any of Mario's, I believe, 42 locations uh, in the triad area. And um, they've got great engagement. Over 48 people uh, organically shared the contest. Uh, off of uh, their pages and it reached a ton of people very virally as a whole and they're able to go back in and measure that. They put together a full integrated campaign uh, where they ran this on behalf of the advertisers. So it was the advertisers uh, contest and promotion but the, the, the paper used all of their different uh, leverage points including print and digital to get the word out about the, uh, the contest and help them grow uh, grow the engagement overall. The, uh, the uh, contest was also, and this is always critical with promotions, was promoted uh, across email. Um, they sent it out to their list of 40,000 people who've opted in with the newspaper uh, to receive uh, contests and other kinds of promotions, and they saw tremendous success uh, in terms of that email and uh, engagement with the contest overall. Um, the uh, the, uh, the results were, were terrific. Uh, not only was it shared and the engagement went up on the Facebook page, but over 811 people uh, liked uh, Mario's during the course of this contest. A huge growth in terms of their own Facebook likes and their social database. Uh, even more importantly, the number of um, uh, people uh, opting in went up. Uh, over 750 people opted in 
to get more information from REOs in the future, giving them a really valuable takeaway from the investment that they made in this promotion uh, overall. So the real secret sauce here, and what you should re really want to take away, is, is as Julie said earlier, have that needs analysis conversation, uh, discover the advertiser's challenge. In this case, they knew they were looking for um, measurable social engagement and growing their Facebook likes, and they knew they wanted, and really smart, they wanted to grow that email database so they could talk to these people who are interested in pizza going forward. Have that relevant prize. If you, if you love pizza, you're going to love $50 from, uh, from Mario's. And so that prize proved to be just enough to reach the right audience and get them really engaged trying to win, this, win that, that pizza prize. And of course, the heavy promotion uh, to drive entrance to the Facebook page where uh, the uh, Winston-Salem Journal conducted this contest on behalf of Mario. So right to Mario's page uh, was critical in driving these results and being able to have a terrific follow-up meeting with the team. All right. And our next challenge was driving foot traffic. So we have an indoor water park outside of Chicago, Illinois, Key Lime Cove, that wanted to drive foot traffic. And that's one that a lot of your advertisers are probably going to be asking you as their challenge is saying, how can you just get traffic in my door? And so the solution from Shaw Media in Illinois was an e-commerce offer in their big, big deal store with big promotional power behind it. So they had full page, full color print ads. They had online, they had email, they had social. Um, they put a lot of promotional power behind this big deal for the water park, which was a really great deal for this water park resort. And the results were really astounding for the advertiser. They saw increased weekday visits. They created upsell opportunities with this deal. Um, they were able to offset the slowdowns that happen in the, during these seasonal slowdowns in the off season attracted a regional audience, so not just the folks that are right there in their market area, but in across the region because Shaw Media put this big promotional power out of across all of their papers outside of suburban Chicago. Um, and they drove social engagement, which wasn't actually one of the main goals they had, but it was something they were able to prove. And they were also able to generate revenue as well. So they were able to deliver these results for these ad the advertiser that they wanted. And why were they able to do that? Well, they had that robust promotional package. They had a great relationship with the local advertiser and, and were, were able to give them what they needed. Um, and they had a great local media audience and it was more valuable for the advertiser because they were able to spread it across all of their papers in the suburban Chicago area. And so they were able to deliver foot traffic and measure that foot traffic with this offer. Okay, our next uh, case study comes from, Hay from down in New Orleans and Haydell's uh, a Bakery, uh, which really specializes in king cakes, is most prominently known for them, for king cakes. They were looking to grow their email database, uh, grow their social engagement, grow their uh, uh, Facebook likes and further engagement on, on the Facebook platform as well as collect data. So they had three measurable challenges that they were going after. So the solution they came up with was, once again, it was a contest. It was a, uh, it was a king cakes for a year giveaway. Um, really fun. And one of the things they wanted to stress was the king cakes are not just for Mardi Gras. They're year-round. So this was a perfect fit. So the, uh, the, the Facebook contest was promoted through an integrated campaign, including radio, uh, internet radio, uh, email and display ads. This was done by the Entercom Radio Group down in uh, down in New Orleans. Um, the contest included not just the entry form, but also some survey questions. So they were interested in knowing um, if people knew Haydell's offered king cakes throughout the year. Um, did they know that uh, the Haydell's had gluten-free options, and did they know that Haydell's uh, shipped worldwide, uh, including military addresses? And this. This really served as a way for them, first of all, to educate people engaging with the contest on the fact that they did offer these opportunities, and as we'll discuss later, gave them information to go back and remarket across some of this demographic, some of this information uh, to them. They had terrific results. Uh, almost uh, 2,200 uh, people opted in uh, to be added to the Haydell's uh, email database and get further information from them. That was nearly a hundred percent result in terms of people opting in. So great results there. 
they added over 1,200 new likes to their Facebook page. As you can see from this chart, a great, great spike in terms of their overall engagement. Um, and as I mentioned, those survey results were really fascinating to them. They really gave them both data for their own marketing purposes in the future, but it allowed them to then turn around and target messaging after the contest was over um, to, uh, to people who adopted in based on how they selected uh, the, the, their answers to these choices and were able to move those people towards uh, taking advantage of some of the services they may not have understood that the bakery had offered in the first place. So these were great um, results for them. They were so great that Haydell's has really become a believer in these promotions and is really doing one a quarter. They're really uh, signed on. They most recently did a, um, a contest where they were targeting people around their catering uh, opportunity. And uh, they offered um, uh, survey questions around that as a whole. And here in Q3, uh, or in Q3, and it's just finishing up, they've done something around a football theme where they're giving away a tailgate party. And they've teamed up with some other uh, providers down in New Orleans uh, to, uh, to round out not just a, a king cake, but other selections to round out a tailgate party. Um, they're getting ready for uh, Q4 now. And uh, this has just been an absolute home run for both, uh, for both Entercom and for Haydell's Bakery. Great measurable results. So our secret sauce here is that gaining the valuable insights uh, for the advertiser and the lead generation, the advertiser just loved it. They loved having those opt-ins. They loved having those Facebook likes. But those survey questions were incredibly powerful at allowing them to learn more about their potential consumer base out there, as well as be able to then turn around and retarget them to them. Um, the mobile database, the Facebook, the email database growth that we talked about was really great for them. And more, more than anything else, it was being able to walk into that follow-up meeting with proven results, proven measurable results that the media company controlled and was able to share back to the advertiser. It's hard to go wrong with that. That's right, Matt. This is a really great one. And it's in that playbook, too, which you can download um, if you go to secondstreetlab.com. And we have one more case study, and this is one out of Paducah, Kentucky, from a television station. And this advertiser wanted to do these three things. They needed to generate some leads, they needed to grow their email database, and they needed to grow social engagement. This is a local hearing aid retailer, and so they really focus on generating those leads um, so they can actually drive revenue for the hearing aid retailer. And so what was the solution? Well, it was a Hear Clearly giveaway. They were giving away hearing aids that are compatible with your iPhone. Um, so it was a very targeted campaign for this advertiser, um, something that would have a very niche audience. Um, this was run on Audiology and Hearing Center's Facebook page. And so they asked some qualifying questions because of its, uh, its targeted nature. They needed to know if the person that was entering actually wore hearing aids or if someone they loved wore hearing aids, um, if they were planning on purchasing them. And this question here at the bottom, would you like someone from our office to contact you or would you be interested in attending a lunch and learn? So they were able to really move the needle with this promotion. They generated 164 qualified leads, 164 people of all the people that entered 164 that they identified as people we could actually go out and re-market to. And that's a really great result considering the small niche to who they were marketing to and the fact that the audience for hearing aids skews older. It really showed that it didn't matter that they ran this on Facebook or online, that this really worked. Um, and they also were able to invite those folks that wanted to attend that lunch and learn. 45% of all the contest entrants said they wanted to um, – buy a hearing aid in the next year, um, and that a lot of them wanted to come to the Lunch and Learn event. Um, they were able to also collect over 200 email addresses or opt-ins. Um, that's over 60% of the entries there. And they were able to grow the likes for the hearing aid retailer's Facebook page by 100 likes, which is great for, again, the very targeted nature of this promotion. So the secret sauce here. For, the, for this TV station and this retailer, hearing aid retailer in Paducah, Kentucky, very targeted promotion for their very niche audience, 
which is what they needed and what they wanted. Those survey questions really qualified those contest entrants for them. And then the follow-up meeting that the sales rep had with the client after the promotion was over to go through everyone's answers and to segment the database and to really hone in and say, here are your people that you need to reach out to today. That is what really moved the needle for this promotion and for this advertiser because as a result of that, they have now booked eight appointments with eight of those contest entrants for them to come in and to um, have their hearing checked and to get fitted for a hearing aid. If an average hearing aid costs about $4,000, you can just imagine having eight people actually having appointments and coming in, that their ROI was tremendous and that they are planning on doing more promotions with the television station because of this. So how do you deliver the kind of results like we've shown you in these case studies today? Well, it's really simple. First, you need to train your team. We have a wide range of training courses available um, through Second Street. Um, everything from uh, planning to sales. Um, so train your team, um, get them trained on how to do this. Then conduct that needs analysis. Remember that your advertisers see a lot of reps and you need to be one that stands out and delivers solutions. Deliver the right solution, so pick the right promotion. Is it going to be a contest? Will it be on Facebook? Is it a ballot? Is it an offer? Align your advertiser's goals with the right promotion type to fulfill them. Remember that promotions deliver results. Gordon Burrell said at the very beginning, Matt, Matt Cohen talked about it, advertisers want results and you can measure those results with promotions. So share those results. You have had the needs analysis. You know what they wanted. You're in the position to share the success with them. So use those results as a tool to secure more business and to gain trust through the proof of delivering those results for your advertisers. And if you need more resources to help get you started, we have this playbook on secondstreetlab.com slash solutions that you can download that goes in detail into each of these case studies that we've talked about with you today, plus more, and some steps to help you get started. And you can also check out the lab for multiple other case studies and promotion examples. Matt, do you want to add anything? Just thanks for being with us today. Uh, the team at Second Street is always available if you have questions or comments on what you've heard today. Uh, we'd love to hear your own experiences. Uh, make sure you go out to secondstreetlab.com. As Julie suggested, that's the hub of our promotions lab and all the things that we do. And I think you'll find lots of other great information there. And we appreciate you spending the time with us today.